I guess I've always been driven to see what happens if I really throw myself at something. I learned early on that unless you really do that, you'll never find out. And I think I'd be really sad if I didn't ever find out what my potential was. In a way, that's almost like the meaning of life, you know? It's like finding a purpose and pushing yourself in that space, whatever it is. Finally home after, uh, I don't know, probably two months on the road and uh, actually get to go climbing. In 2008, we went to climb Mount Meru and I was shooting it for posterity. The thought had crossed my mind for maybe a bigger project, but I really didn't have the intention of making like a serious feature doc until after the climb. I think the challenge for me is trying to balance the PR media publicity side for the film and still doing what makes me tick, which is being outside. I think probably the biggest thing I've sacrificed in the career I've chosen is stability. <laughs> I travel a lot and, and I like it, uh, but you know, when you've been on the road for several months, it'd be nice to wake up for, you know, five days in a row and make breakfast for yourself at your house. This valley is it's epic. There's so much to do here. It's nice to be someplace really familiar when you're traveling a lot. Wanted to call and see if uh, maybe I could catch you and Marina so I could give her a little FaceTime happy birthday. Wish I was there. It's my daughter's second birthday. She's two years old today and I'm not there. After college, I wasn't really clear where I was going, but I did know that climbing and skiing were really the things that moved me. And I was just determined to harness that motivation and drive. I'm happy if I can just get out, be in the mountains, move around, be out here. I don't need much to be happy, but I need a little bit. Anything great that I feel like I've accomplished is always from taking a big risk. We're all just kind of frayed, <laughs> but uh, we got one last push tomorrow. The two great risks, I believe, are risking too much, but the one I'm really scared of is risking too little because you have this opportunity and you should make the most of it.